shove a key tip up my nose. I'm getting kind of grouchy. I'm in love with Dr. Fauci. Uh -huh. I guess that I can steal a tank. I may be going rob a bank and hit my arteries hot until I get a pot. I don't need to wear shoes. I guess I'll get snooze. I was born to lose. I got the quarantine to lose. You know that is talent when you rhyme grouchy with Fauci. So like most of us, Steve Poltz has the quarantine blues and he is singing about it. The alternative folk singer is here to help chase the blues away. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Jenny. Nice to be with you this early. I haven't been up this early since I used to be the assistant manager of a soup plantation. Oh, no, no. And now they're shut down. Way to Debbie Downer this interview, Steve. <laughs> Well, we appreciate oh, you um, waking up early with us and, you know, welcome back to San Diego. You've been in Nashville. You just kind of came back for a little bit, huh? Yeah, I drove out on July the 20th and uh, drove all the way to Tulsa, Oklahoma, spent the night, checked to make sure the hotel was clean. I, I interviewed them to see how they clean their rooms and all that. I was completely <laughs> paranoid, yeah. Jenny. And then I drove to Sedona, Arizona, and then I got into San Diego. And I haven't been able to leave because it's just so beautiful. You know, I lived here for years and now I'm realizing what an idiot I was. Why did I leave? <laughs> At least you realize, you know, it's never too late to realize you're an idiot. Hey, Steve, I want to talk about quarantine blues. So I hear okay. that when at Windensea had a neighbor here and was nagging you to write this song. Is that true? Can you kind of tell us the backstory? Yeah, I have this neighbor named Matt Donahue, and he we go on walks in the morning. I like to walk like six miles every morning. And so we were on this walk, and he just kept nagging at me, saying, when are you going to write a quarantine song? And I really <laughs> said to him in a haughty tone, I said, why don't you write one? And then I felt bad that I, I replied to him in such a way. So I came home that morning and wrote this song called Quarantine Blues. Mm -hmm. Now, and I love it because it has such irreverent humor. And of course, you know, the <laughs> rhyming. What did you rhyme? How, uh, hydro clox, I can't even say the word. Vaccine with hydroxychloroquine, whatever. <laughs> Grouchy Fauci. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I learned, I, I, yeah. Hydrocloxy, hydrocloxychloroquine. I can <laughs> only sing it. it I can only say that word when I sing the song, <laughs> if that makes sense. So I think it would go, I learned the word abrogation, tried to find a new vocation, searched the whole skyscraper, trying to steal some toilet paper, oh, yeah. made a bong out of a peach. I learned to brush my teeth with bleach. I prayed for a vaccine and learned about hydroxychloroquine. Yeah, that's it. Boom. Got it. Wait, did you record this song at Jason Mraz's in Oceanside? Is that a true story? Am I making stuff up? I did. You see, um, he has a great studio up there and a, and a little coffee farm, an avocado farm. And my buddy Jeff Berkeley, who produced a record of mine called Folk Singer, shares the studio with Jason. So I went up to say hi to those guys. And I said, hey, I got this song. I want to record it live. And Jason said, let me play keys on it. And I played acoustic guitar. Jeff Berkeley played electric and a couple other local guys. Uh, Rick Nash and Bob Sale played drums and uh Base and we recorded it up there, and it was took fifty seven takes, okay. Jenny, to get it right, and then I had it right. I was sweating, and so we sound like a good band by the time we got it down. And so yeah, I recorded it up there. Probably took fifty seven takes because you couldn't say hydro blah 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 whatever. I know I would get almost there, and then I would screw up. It was like the, that episode of The Odd Couple when um, Oscar Madison, Felix Unger asks, he bets him like 100 bucks that he can't type Oscar Madison 20 times in a row on his typewriter, and the very last time, the 20th time, he types Oscar Madison. It was like that, <laughs> so I would get close because I was singing and playing it. But here I am. I got it. I got it down pat, Jenny. Finally. Steve, I would be remiss if I didn't ask about your virtual show, uh, Poway on Stage. Tell us about that. So I'm playing a show tonight uh -huh. at 7 p.m., a virtual online show. We got like four or five different camera angles. It's professionally recorded, well uh, recorded and well lit. It's from the stage at the Poway Center for Performing Arts. My buddy who books it, Michael Rennie, asked me if I would do a show from there. And so I will be doing this show tonight at 7 p.m. And you can get tickets. And we're even doing a Zoom meet and greet before the show. Okay. And I'll play like an hour long show. It's called Quarantine Blues. And I will actually do that song as long as I don't screw it up. But you just helped me because you you let me rehearse oh, vaccine and hydrocoxychloroquine. So that's pretty good. <laughs> you are welcome. Uh, Steve Pulse, <laughs> as we wrap up, where can people go to, to listen to more of your song or more of your work? 
Oh, okay. So there's a lyric video that you can get to. It's it's on YouTube for uh, Quarantine Blues, and it's everywhere. iTunes, Spotify, all over the place, and Poltz.com, P-O-L-T-Z.com, and Instagram. <laughs> We're going to become friends, Jenny. Yeah, 8, we 6, are. 6, 7, 5, 3, oh, 9. Yeah, Tommy uh, Two-Tone, buddy. Steve, it was so nice <laughs> having you this morning. Stay in San Diego. You stay here. I know, right? Why would I leave? I don't know. <laughs> but now you have so to now leave, I'm gonna play I'm gonna play Stairway to Heaven and Inagata de Vida back to back. So I'm gonna just take over the news show. So I love it. Everybody love don't it. go anywhere. Play us out, man. Bye, Steve. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> <laughs>